something a little different. We've been stuck in this classroom all year, but now... Well, well, well. <coughs> Boring old textbook not exciting enough for you, Fungus? Hmm? Uh, it's Jim McNally's Three Steps to Good Business. Productivity, more productivity, and less tea breaks. Very good, I guess. Actually, it kind of leads us to our special assignment for this week. You'll each be spending a week in your parents' workplace. And at the end of it, deliver a report on how it works. Wait. Does this mean we have no school for a week? Precisely. Yay! 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 Fantastic! This is my chance to put the McNally method into practice. Productivity, more productivity, and less tea breaks? That should go over real well. What's wrong with kindness? The way Mom and Dad do it. All right. Name one kind person that ever got to be rich. What about Count Dracula? Huge money problems. The electricity bill for the castle alone sucks up all his... Aren't you kids the greatest? Say what? Miss Harbottle has been calling all the parents to tell them about your little project. And so we said to ourselves, what better time to take a holiday? Holiday? We haven't been away, all by ourselves, for over a hundred years. So we figured, what better way for the kids to write a smashing report than to throw them in at the deep end? Oh. Now, Rictus, don't make it sound all horrible. Come on, the deep end isn't that deep. There really isn't that much to it. Come, Maggot. I'll show you what I do. The guest register. This is where you fill in the names of the guests. And here, the dates of arrival and departure. Any special requests go in here. Make sure the soda water is dank and the peanuts are stale. Liaise with the staff on an ongoing basis. How's today's special coming along? Nice. Delish. <laughs> Copy that. Never forget the most important thing about the hotel business. Our guests. We spare no effort in making our guests feel comfortable and welcome. <sighs> now that's what I call service. There's probably a million things I forgot to tell you, but I'm sure you'll figure it all out. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. I'm sure we can handle it. I never realized she did so much. Okay, Dad. I'll be taking over from you. So what do you do? Hmm. What do I do? Hmm. What do I do? Once every few years, I check the sprinkler system. I do that once in a while. Good. I guess that, uh, I, uh... You're just more the big picture kind of guy. Yes, that's exactly right. Looking into a conglomerate acquisition merger. What are you talking about? We have a hotel to run. Let's make Mom and Dad proud this week. measure productivity in a more efficient manner. It's imperative. Whatever. <sighs> so, 
we have no new guests for Monday, none for Tuesday or Wednesday. And then on Thursday we have... nobody. And again on Friday. I was thinking, milady, of taking this Wednesday off. Hmm. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday will be fine. Ah, thank you, milady. How are we ever supposed to evolve into a global hotel chain with such lazy staff? <sighs> can be vastly improved by a manufacturing line process and the principles of, you know, we could easily apply that to this kitchen. It would make everything. Sorry, Fungus, you're in the way. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? I'm just bored. Maggot won't let me do any conglomerate takeover acquisition mergers or management efficiency study reports. And really, what else is there to do for someone like me? Dishes? No way! I'm a big picture kind of guy. I can't be expected to deal with the menial day-to-day -day running of things. Besides, there'd be a whole lot less to do if only we replaced all the workers with robots. You robots? Sure, it's all in here. This McNally is a real visionary. Every age has its true messenger. And McNally's message is, simply cut the wage bill in half, because robots work for a lot less, free even, if you program them right. Do I sense a challenge, or do I sense a challenge? Both. <laughs> robots are the way of tomorrow, today. What a genius. I get to work on the prototype right away. <laughs> And there have been many over the centuries. Little Maggot is by far the kindest, the most efficient. Simply the best. Oh, yes. It's a pity her parents will be back in a few days already. And even so, it would be unfortunate if anything happened to them on their holiday or on their return. <laughs> Enjoying herself so much. It's sad it'll end so soon for her. Still, it'll be nice to have Richter some funerella back. And I'm sure nothing untoward will happen to them on their journey. They are simply the best. Oh, yes. Doesn't it seem a little harsh that they want to get rid of your parents just so you can keep running the hotel? I think it's just horrible. All I want is for Mom and Dad to come home and for everything to be back to normal. Well, if they like the way you do things so much that they want to get rid of your parents, there's only one thing you can do. <sighs> Not do things my way? That appears to be the size of it. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't be so hard. You wanted to see me, Your Majesty? Listen, Fungus, I've been thinking. Thinking of excluding me even more, probably. No, brother. I've been a bit unfair running this hotel so perfectly and without a hitch. You should have a go at it. Really? Yeah, really. You're not pulling my leg like when you told me the Headless Horseman was outside our bedroom and I couldn't sleep for two and a half weeks? No, really. I'm serious. It's all yours. Ha! I knew a girl wouldn't be able to run a business. Now... Why don't you go and make me a nice cup of tea? <laughs> Actually, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> that will be all. <gasps> Jim McNally, Mwah! we have arrived. So, what's the secret ingredient in humble pies anyway? Carrots, of course. Good day to you, gentlemen. 
I'm sure you've heard that I, Fungus, will be running this hotel for the foreseeable future. Huh? What's this? A list of changes that I want made to make this kitchen a bit more efficient. Oh, yes. And stop making those awful humble pies. When was the last time someone ordered one of them anyway? Let me at him! Stop, Chef. He's not worth it. Jeebies, where are you going? Oh, young Master Fungus. I was just going on my 12 o'clock break. Didn't you just finish your 11.30 break? Yes, but there is this filly running in the two o'clock. Silence! Back to work and I want to see those floors filthy. Look at how clean they are. What will people think? Very good, sire. Don't you think you're being a little too hard on them? Wait till you see what I've planned next. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to my little impromptu meeting at such short notice. You said you'd cancel Halloween if we didn't show up. Fungus! <laughs> that was a joke. A little joke. Anyway, I've got some good news and some not so good news. What's the good news? Productivity is up a whopping three and a half percent. What's the bad news, you little slug sucker? The bad news is that due to cutbacks, you will all have to take a substantial pay cut. <gasps> oh, and there will be no more tea breaks. Any questions? Just one. I think I speak for the whole lot of us when I say that we are officially on strike. Yeah. Hey, that wasn't a question. Fungus, have you lost your mind? What have you done? Maggot, maggot, maggot. When will you learn? I have everything under control. It's all in here. You better start explaining. Chapter 4. Get rid of staff and replace them with robots. What? Called, my lord. See that the dinner is ready for our guests? Very good, sire. Apologize to the staff. Trust me, Mom and Dad will be happy. Robots take a lot less toilet breaks and will work for practically nothing. Jeebies! What are you doing here? Fungus thought you would like some breakfast in bed. You are his dear sister after all. Oh, you're the robot Jeebies. So it wasn't a dream. Team Divey, your favorite. Mm. Gee, the real Jeebies never brought me breakfast in bed. Forget about the real Jeebies. Get used to this. Excuse me, Robotic Wilson. Could you pass me the pepper? Certainly, Robotic Chef. How clumsy of me. Now, normally, Chef would chase Wilson around the kitchen for days if something like this happened. True. I will have to start all over again. I will help you. This is amazing. More tea breaks, less productivity. More tea breaks, less productivity. Give me that! That doesn't even work! And it, imbecile! I am the senior star, and I say it's mine! Let me solve this. I'll use the megaphone. Tomorrow, today. Well, yesterday. Hi, Colonel. Everything all right? 
tip-top, my boy. I haven't partaken of gangrenous gizzard this good since I was on Her Majesty's service in Persia. Bravo! Thank you, Colonel. Marcus. Everything okay, Tut? Well, I did ask for extra slugs or snails in my salad, and look, no slugs anywhere. <laughs> I'll get Chef to see to it right away. Chef, a little problem. Tut asked for extra slugs and snails. Can we see to say what? Clock. The dining room is closed. What the blazes? Give me that back. I'm not finished. Where is the cut? Hit me at him. I don't know what's gotten into those robots. You'll just have to talk to them. Show them who's boss. Isn't that what your clever book tells you? We would like to check out, please. I shall not tarry one more minute in this vile establishment. But why? I'll tell you why. This morning, GB sucked me into the vacuum cleaner. And I still got no slugs in my salad. You may forward the bill to our new address. But you never gave us your new address. Exactly. Do you ever get the feeling you might be in big, Big trouble? Relax, look on the bright side. At least it can't get any worse. Guess who's home, kids? So tell us, how did things go when we were away? Oh, oh, oh. well, well, <gasps> welcome home. Where is everyone? It seems very quiet, doesn't it, Funerella? Doesn't it seem awfully quiet? I agree, Rictus. It seems unusually quiet. Almost as if no one was here, or something. <laughs> no, no. Everything is fine. You must be terribly tired after your long journey. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm spent. Maybe we should have a lie down. We'll talk to you later, kids. <sighs> I'm pretty tired, too, now that you mention it. I might have a nap. Oh, no, you don't. We have to sort out your mess. We do? Okay, okay. Enough glaring. I think there is someone we both need to talk to. Amazing! Blood actually is sick as in water. Can I have a go? Absolutely. Really? No, not really. <laughs> Uncle Fawn, there's a problem with the robots. They've turned evil. Why is it that everyone is so surprised when I make evil things? I am an evil scientist after all. That wasn't part of the deal. Okay, okay, calm down. How can we un-evil them? Well, I built them after carefully studying the behavioral patterns of the subjects. You mean, if we use our knowledge of what makes the real GB Chef and Wilson happy, the robots will stop being evil? In theory, yes. But why would you want to do this? Evil people are so much more fun than normal, regular, goody two shoes types. <laughs> Uncle Fawn? You are officially fired from my Jim McNally project. Will you stop firing people? Sorry. What are you doing? I'm changing the knives and forks around. You know how maggot hurts that. <laughs> Looks like they're still evil. Right. What's the plan? As usual, I'll have to sort it out. I'll just be really nice to them. It's one of them. But, Chef, you wouldn't hurt me. I really like your cooking. And Wilson, what a lovely hat. And jeez, what about some time off? Just the way you like it. I know what we should do. Let's get her. Oh, yeah. Ouch. 
Once again, throw myself humbly at your feet, begging for mercy and forgiveness for my stupendous lack of judgment, kindness, and consideration for my fellow beings. Again, sorry, sorry, and sorry. Wow, Fungus. I didn't know you were capable of that kind of, well, out-and-out -out apology. Actually, it was all right here, in the appendix of McNally's book. Apparently, this isn't the first time something like this happened. <sighs> you kids did an amazing job while we were gone. We must go away more often. <sighs> Not sure about these sculptures, though, kids. I think they'll have to go. One GB's is quite enough, don't you think? Amen. Yeah. And that was how we learned all about the daily duties that go into the running of a hotel. Very good. How about you, Fungus? Any insights? Just that firing staff and replacing them with robots that turn out to be evil is definitely not the way to go. <laughs> you have no idea what would have happened if they'd been waterproof. Fungus! Right. Well, I think it's pretty clear who has taken this assignment seriously and who hasn't. And again, I'm sorry, okay? <laughs>